this morning calls for actual caffeinated tea. Snug as a little bug, Fiona sent me these. And today more than ever, I am truly grateful. <laughs> You see, I did not sleep well last night. Let's show you a different view. I didn't sleep well last night. I have hurt my neck, either digging in the garden or jumping about being a frog or a rabbit or a kangaroo with Wilf when we do Joe Wicks in the morning. And it just kept me awake most of the night. I've hurt my toe as well on my trainer. So that's annoying. It's a dreich day today, but I can see enough blue sky for a pair of choosers to make a sail. <laughs> that was really bad. Not only did I get the accent wrong, but I got the saying wrong as well. I'm feeling a bit blah today. I'm still in my PE kit. <sighs> I've got no makeup on, so I can't show you my face. I'll show you my coffee. That's delicious. And I'll show you my little dog. She's delicious too. And it has stopped raining. So that's delicious. I should be popping outside in a minute. I wanted to show you some English paper piecing patchwork I'm going to do a bit of later because my elbow is too sore for knitting at the moment. I've done it in digging, digging spuds. Yesterday I made some more masks and I made a mess and I've been intending to tidy it up all day but I just haven't got around to it. I have hoovered the two bathrooms upstairs. Hello. Um, the hallway downstairs, the kitchen dining room, the study. And quite honestly, that's enough for me. <laughs> it's quite a big area, so I think it's enough for anyone. Right, I'm going to send Margot away. Right, Margot, away. 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 She is amazing sometimes. And other times, oh, other times she is a nightmare. For example, if I take Bunny out for a walk, she and don't take Margot with me because it's too wet, she will cry and cry and cry and cry and drive everybody left behind completely insane. Right, here we go. Let's see what I've got in here. Let's have the butchers. Oh, heavens. So I've got paper templates in here. I have got pre cut squares of fabric here. I did these years ago. I literally started these years ago. There we go. And I've got a heap of... Um, oh, my thimble. I've been looking for that one. That's a comfy one. Oh, my thread wax. I wondered where that has gone as well. Right. So, so the plan is with these is well, they're going to be bunched together as a star. Now, I showed somebody the other day and I'm now wondering, did I put it on my vlog as well as showing her. Actually, I showed my WhatsApp group that consists of Cherie, Rachel and Ali. So there we go. I'm gonna have uh, stars like that and then in between will be a hexagon. 
and then another star coming off there and a hexagon in there in a creamy kind of just a calico just a standard calico to kind of match in with that sort of colour there so that is what I'm going to be doing I'm going to I'm going to sew these diamonds together I'm not going to do I'm not going to do that because that's pretty hard going you've really got to as you can see here the corners are a little bit it's a bit tight the the squares are slightly smaller than ideal but stitching them together should be easy except when I sew it hurts my thumb knuckle so uh, honestly gardening and, and exercise is no good for me you all know you all know that I love cooking well I love summer cooking. Excuse the state of my Arga. It's a range and, well, it's an Arga, but it's a range. And um, it's hot all the time, so you can never clean it unless you turn it off. And I'm always reluctant to turn it off, so it's never really very clean. This is about as clean as it gets. This is normal for an Arga. This is not me being slovenly. I digress. I love cooking, but tonight I couldn't be bothered. Toby um, had a message a few weeks back from a chap that works works for him um, and has a company vehicle saying, uh, whilst I'm furloughed, would you mind if I helped out my friend who is a street cook? Um, he's taken to doing taking his street cooking it's Indian cooking on the road and he needs some help with deliveries would that be okay can I use the work vehicle I'll pay the petrol and um, help do deliveries and Toby said yeah of course mate uh, where do you deliver what is the food and no I don't see top and um, it turns out that it's Indian one of our favorites and um, they deliver locally so Toby said yeah put us on your route so each week now well we started last week we get a um, amazing street food Indian street food delivered to us which is lovely so this is chicken tikka which is nothing like the chicken tikka that you get in Chinese restaurants uh, yeah. Indian restaurants now I have to say it is gorgeous. That looks different to the one we had last week. No, it doesn't. It looks more masala -y. Chicken tikka masala. Mm. This is chicken tikka masala. This know, is how it looked last week. Did it? I thought it was yeah. a lot lighter and less. No, no. Lightness. No, no, no. It looked like this last week. And it is lovely and I do really, really like it. However, it's authentic Indian and I really, really love fake British takeaway chicken tikka masala. So last time I had it, I was a bit disappointed, but this time I know what to expect and I'm excited for it. Oh, I'm excited for it. But actually, I'm less excited for this. I'm more excited for the chicken, no, the lamb keema, which I've ordered. Oh, go away. Goodness me, I don't know if you can tell. It doesn't look quite so vicious in my video, but... It is extremely windy out there. Like crazy windy. And I am super duper looking forward to jumping into this bed. I did not sleep well last night. I can't remember if I've already said, but my neck was so sore that it kept waking me up. So my neck and my elbow, when I laid on my right side, hurt. And when I laid on my left side, my toenail hurt <laughs> from my trainer. Oh, so I didn't sleep well. I can't wait to get in there. What are you doing? What are you doing? That is my cashmere 
dressing gown just dumped there. Dumped unceremoniously. Right, it's time for my favourite time of the day. Favourite time of the day, Ted. Hello? Hi. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready for your loving mother? Yeah, See, Ted is so tolerant of me because I make him listen to me reading Harry Potter. Because even though he is absolutely ancient and grown up, I want to read Harry Potter to my kid. <laughs> Get off your telephone and pay me some attention. Pay me some attention, child. Well, guess what? It's England. Gosh, you can hear the wind, can't you? So, it is England, so. Yeah, but we've had amazing weather lately. We look at the wind going through that bush there on the right. You can I see. I don't it. like the bush because whenever cars go by, I like to see them. Oh, do you? Yeah. <laughs> That's because you're a boy. Somebody asked me, "What is that bush there?" And if they see this before I get around to answering the comments, because I am so behind, guys. I'm about nine videos behind. I just, <laughs> it takes me quite a long time to answer comments. And, and I hate that because I love replying com to comments and I love comments. They utterly, I just yeah. thrive on them. Um, but it just, video? it just takes, well, how many do I? it takes me ages to get back to everybody so i'm so sorry i am trying i'm gonna have to skip a few i'm afraid um but anyway that bush there is a choicier white dazzler so just pop that in google and you'll find it i can't get over how windy it is it's crazy <laughs> That is a little, looks huge, but it's not very big at all. Look, little glass of sherry. And I've got my iPad here. I'm just about to set it up to see who's around, who I can catch up with. And I've got my English paper piece in to give my elbow a rest from knitting. I love this little project bag. It's a peony and sage fabric. Not 100% sure they still make it. I hope they do because I love it so much. Just bought a little scrap and um, made it into a small project bag. It's not, it's lined, but it's not wadded or anything, interfaced. So I'm gonna start doing a little bit of sewing and hope it doesn't aggravate my elbow. Toby will be in shortly. He's just on a Zoom call with his mountain biking friends. Um, I've been banished. <laughs> he told me to clear off. Cheeky monkey. So, uh, really nothing very much to report today. Um, and there probably won't be tomorrow, but I'll still be here tomorrow. So... For those of you that come back, I will see you tomorrow and uh, cheers. Thanks for watching. Isn't my friend gorgeous? She's gorgeous. This is gorgeous too. There we go. I shall show you that when it's a star all stitched together.
Think you need to wake yourself up. She has little eyes open. <laughs>